618 as you're getting your day going on this Wednesday. An unforgettable experience. That is what Touch a Truck event organizers are promising families that come out this weekend. Now this does look fun. News Channel 7's Sean Bro joins us from Carl Gray Park this morning getting all the details about Touch a Truck. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Donna. That is absolutely correct. So the City of Panama City Quality of Life Department is putting on this unforgettable event here at Carl Gray Park in Panama City. And it is a great opportunity for kiddos to come experience what it's like with all these emergency vehicles and really get their involvement in there and get their hands on experience. So there's a little bit of some bugs out here this morning, but that's not going to stop us. We have Grant Talbert here with us, who is the Division Chief of Fire Prevention. So let's set the scene here. We have kids show up. It's a great day, and they run up to your truck. What are you going to show them? All right, so we're going to give you a preview of one of our basic fire trucks. Uh, so we've got a lot of things on here that we're going to show the kids. We've got our fire extinguishers. We got our water rescue equipment, cribbing for car accidents. We've got our extrication tools. Some call them the jaws of life. These are for automobile accidents, things like that. Yeah, so we're gonna walk around here. Now, why do you think it's so important for the kiddos to kind of learn, learn what each thing's to do and just learn what you guys do for, you know, to protect everyone's safety? So they can know what to expect if we have a, an emergency or an incident and they see us working with these tools or in our protective equipment, they'll, they'll, they'll know what we sound like, what we look like, and they won't be scared of us on the scene. Yeah. Well, there you go. Okay, so we're going to continue walking around here. What are we looking at? All right, so we've got some ground ladders up here. We've got our hookup hose up here to hook to a hydrant. We've got a generator right there, some extra hose. Some very cool stuff, as you can see. We've got uh, appliances back here for our hose hookups, things like that, nozzles, positive pressure ventilation fans. Okay, okay. It's a giant truck. I'm sure a bunch of kids can fit on this. <laughs> yeah. We've got extra air cylinders for our SCBA bottles or packs in there. We've got some of our tools over here, axes, sledgehammers, things like that. So this is the pump panel. This is where the water is controlled by the engineer. The engineer is a very important job at the fire department. They drive to the scene and they pretty much control the water. So all these different levers, handles right here, control these different hoses on the truck. We've got the uh, deck gun up here. This is pretty much a water turret. We could okay. spray on exposures, things like that. Yeah. Our firefighters. Over, we're opening her up there, yeah. <laughs> are in the cab back here. So we've got our air packs back here. We've yeah. got our thermal imaging camera. Get a look on inside. That's where these kiddos can run up in there and check out everything inside, right? Yeah, they're going to be able to go through the truck and, and hang out, see everything. All right. Well, we are out of time here for our segment right now, but thank you so much for that tour. And stick around because we're going to check out some more vehicles out here. Again, thank you for that and all that great information. We're going to have details on the event on our website, WGSU.com. But come on out Saturday and touch some awesome trucks. But for right now, we'll be right back here on News Channel 7 today.